Taking control of your motorhome has never been easier. You are going to love the full color touchscreen on the multiplex wiring system. You're just a tap away from your auto gen start, checking your tank levels. You can dim the lights. You can even control your motorhome from your phone. Over the next few minutes, we are going to take a look step by step of each and every function of the multiplex wiring system. The multiplex wiring system has seven buttons lining the bottom. They are home, electrical, lights, climate, fans, slides and awnings, and settings. You also have access to some of those functions on the home screen display. The full color touchscreen not only gives you quick access to some of the most used features, it displays your tank levels, thermostat settings, and you can monitor power to your coach. Walking through the screens, starting with your master light switch. Here you can turn all the lights on or off. The system will remember the last configuration of lights you had on, so next time you touch and hold the master on button, only those lights will come on. By touching the hard button or touch screen button, you will have access to all the lights in your coach. The icon lights up blue when that light is on. Lights with an up and down arrow, like the living area ceiling and kitchen lights shown here, are dimmable. Simply press and hold the button to brighten or dim that light. Back on the home screen, if your coach has a retractable TV, you can raise or lower it from here. This section of the touchscreen is for your climate control. Here, you can see the current temperature for each zone, front, middle, and rear. The blue snowflake means the air conditioner is on. Accessing all the functions of the climate control is as simple as pressing either the climate section on the touchscreen or the thermometer on the control panel. To set your temperature in each zone, use the up and down arrows. Below each zone, you'll find your heating and cooling options such as your heat pump, your furnace, and AquaHot if your coach is equipped. For AquaHot equipped coaches, you can select either diesel or electric power by pressing one of these two buttons. After your desired method of heating or cooling and temperature is selected, choose your fan speed. Auto is a combination of heating and cooling. The system chooses to run either the heat or AC to keep your coach at your desired set temperature. Pressing the exterior button takes you here, where you can set the temperature by zone, set the current temp for that zone, and see the current climate control mode. With AquaHot, it's from here you set the temperature for your basement. Back home and moving to the upper right side of the screen gives you a quick check of your tank levels. A quick touch and your water pump can be turned on. You also can choose gas or electric to heat your water. For motorhomes equipped with AquaHot, you can turn on your tank heaters and you have the option of AquaHot diesel or electric. The section to the bottom right is devoted to your coach's power. This is the voltage of your house battery. This is the voltage of your chassis battery. These screens constantly monitor the AC power coming in from your transfer switch and inverter. You can also see your power source and modes for your auto gen start, inverter, and charger. Pressing the electric hard button brings up a more in-depth look at your coach's power. At the top, you can see your power source. Here we are connected to 50 amp service. Right below the display for your voltage, amperage draw, and frequency for each line. These numbers should match or be very close. Inverter shows if you are on generator or shore power or if the inverter is disabled. For pass-through, the inverter will kick out 110 volts when no generator or shore power is present. Here you can use your TV, your fridge, your microwave, and certain outlets. These buttons start or stop your generator and this display shows how many hours you have on it. Pressing this button is how you set the triggers for your auto gen start, and here's how you do that. Hold down the disable button until this screen pops up. Then hold enable for at least three seconds and release. You will see this screen with all your settings and options, such as your desired trigger and how many hours you have on your generator. To set your auto gen start, first determine what triggers you want to kick your generator on. You can choose low voltage, HVAC or both. If you've selected low volts, the start at button is how you hand pick the voltage the generator fires up at. You can choose a range from 10.5 to 12.5 volts. The time at start volts determines how long the generator sits at your trigger voltage before starting. 
Choose between five seconds and one minute. The stop at button shuts the generator off when it reaches your target voltage. Choose between 13.2 and 14.5. The time at stop volts is how long you want the generator to run after it reaches the voltage displayed on the stop at switch. Choose between five and 120 minutes. Now, if you'd rather have your generator run for a set amount of time when it fires up after your batteries drop to the trigger level, on the Min Gen Runtime button, you can set the minimum amount of time your generator will run between 10 and 30 minutes. Then set the maximum amount of time you want the generator to run from 120 to 240 minutes. To set your quiet time, say to keep your generator from firing up in the middle of the night, tap the quiet time button. Now, simply set the start and end time and your generator will not start between those hours. By having HVAC load selected, your generator will start when either the air conditioner, furnace, or heat pump fires up to keep your coach at the temperature you selected in the climate setting. The generator will stop when the set temperature is reached. In case your generator does not fire up the first time, Gen Start retries will try again. You can choose between two and five restarts. Tapping the electric button takes you back to the power screen. Looking at the EMS line one and two boxes, the energy management system monitors what is using power and what is not. The EMS system makes sure there is power before a particular system kicks on. If there is no power, that system will not run. This function is your motorhome's way of protecting itself from tripping a breaker. At the bottom of the screen, you can turn on the 110 volt engine block heater. This will not kick on if the AC is running and you need to be connected to shore power or have the generator running. The last panel on this screen displays your house and chassis battery voltage. Here is your inverter status and charging information. You can enable or disable the inverter. Options for the charger are float, bulk and absorption. The inverter charger icon with the gear brings up your settings and status. This section allows you to monitor the DC and AC power being used. If there was a fault with your inverter, it would show up here. This box is essentially your inverter's ID, showing you the model number and what firmware version is being used. Low battery cutout protects your batteries by turning off the inverter. You can adjust the DC voltage with the plus and minus buttons. VAC dropout allows you to adjust the AC voltage point to where the inverter kicks off and your coach switches back to AC power. Shore breaker size allows you to match the size of the breaker wherever you are plugging into shore power. The max charge rate allows you to fine tune the percentage of maximum charge. Battery amp hours is how you adjust the amp hours for your battery bank. If you want to do the math, an amp hour is one amp for one hour or 10 amps for one tenth of an hour. Now this can get tricky, so if you have specific questions, get a hold of Thor Motor Coach Service. Battery type allows you to switch between gel, flooded, AGM, or AGM2 batteries. The fans button will bring up the location of your vents fan. From here, raise or lower the hatch and turn them on. For motorhomes equipped with a bedroom ceiling fan, this is how you turn it on. The slide button on the main control panel brings up a screen specific to your Thor motor coach and floor plan. From here, simply press the extend or retract button for your slide walls and the extend or retract button for your awnings. The last button, the gear button, is the settings button. This screen is where you choose how you want your multiplex wiring system panel to look. At the top, you can choose if you want your temperature displayed in Fahrenheit or Celsius. From here, you can see your specific floor plan. Pressing the switch panel info brings up this screen where you can see each of the remote panel locations and if the battery needs replaced. Over here is how you adjust your screen brightness with the plus or minus or you can choose auto dimming. Clean mode simply disables all the functions so you can wipe the smudges and fingerprints off without accidentally changing your settings. This is where you set your system clock. Saving the best for last, touching the mobile app allows you to connect the multiplex wiring system to your smartphone or tablet through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. First, download the VegaTouch Mira or VegaTouch Pluto app on your device. They work on both Apple and Android devices. Now, on the multiplex control panel, hit the settings button and give the mobile app icon a touch. 
On your phone or tablet, turn on Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and look for the Mira or Pluto name on your control panel to show up on your device. Now connect. Once you're connected, open the app. Look familiar? The app works identical to the main control panel. Now you have control from inside or outside your coach. All your controls are here from lights, climate, slides, your auto gen start, and your tank levels. From the app, you can dim the lights, put out your awnings, even turn on your vent fans. This is an easy system to use and it all works with a single touch. The multiplex wiring system from Thor Motor Coach. From here or here, it's just another reason why our motorhomes are made to fit. For more owner's resources, visit thormotorcoach.com.